Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 1 of problem 4 on analysis of beams. Here I will be showing you a demo on beam with inclined loads using ANSYS release 14 of mechanical APDL and we will concentrate in obtaining bending moment and shear force diagrams here. Okay. So far we have not done any problem on inclined loads and all that. Here I will be showing you how to solve a problem when inclined loads are there. And the problem is this. You see here, the problem is this. As you see here, this is a beam and cross section is 0.2 into 0.3 as usual. And I'm taking, a, it's a steel 210 GPA, Poisson's ratio is 0.27 and all that. And it is subjected to inclined loads in this way. This is 100 Newtons, 200 Newtons, 300 Newtons. This is at 60 degree, this is at 45 degree, this is at 30 degree. And this load is at 1 meter from the left support. And this is 2 meter. Second load is at 2 meter from the left support. And the third load is 3 meter from the left support. This is a roller load. Please understand where the movement in the X direction is allowed. Okay. This is fixed. Okay. Now this, how exactly we do here by theoretical method says, this component I will divide it into two. One horizontal component. That is 100 cos 60 horizontal component. And vertical component will be 100 sin 60. This also 200 cos 45 is the horizontal component. 200 sin 45 is the vertical component. This one will be 300 cos 30 is the horizontal component. 300 sin 30 is the vertical component. In that way, I will split these inclined loads into the horizontal component and vertical components of the respective loads. Uh, respective loads. Now you see here, after divide, after splitting into horizontal and vertical components, it will look like this. You see here clearly, this is 50 and 86.6, that is uh, 100 cos 60, 100 sin 60. This is 200 cos, uh, uh, that is 200, 200 uh, cos 45, 200 sin 45. And this is, as you know, this is 300 cos 30, 300 sin 30, horizontal vertical component. In that way, I have, I have all the loads here. Okay. This is the horizontal component. This is a vertical component. Horizontal component, vertical component, horizontal component, vertical component. In that way, I've done. Okay. Once you have done this, then you see here. To find reactions at the supports by theoretical methods, let us say the support here at A, it is RA, at E it is RE, okay, RA plus RE is summation of all vertical components, this plus this plus this you do, this if you add up all the three, it will be 378, then what I will do is, I will take either moment about E or moment about A, I will take, let us say, I will take moments about A, then RE into 4, this is totally 4 meters, RE into 4, this is Anti-clockwise, I'm taking it, anti-clockwise moment, I'm taking it as positive. Okay, RE into 4 minus, these are all clockwise, 150 into 3, 141.4 into 2, and 86.6 into 1. In that way, that is equal to 0. This RE, if you do by this method, you get by 204.85 Newtons will be the RE here. Then since RE plus RE is 378, okay. RA will be 378 minus 204.85, that is 173.15 uh, Newtons, will be the reactions at RA and RE. Okay. Now you see here, shear force diagram calculations. See here, this the same diagram I have taken, and you have got RA 173.15, RE 204.85, just now we have got it. Now, shear force diagram calculation, these things you know already, okay, these things you know already and you have one certain procedure, okay, see here, shear force diagram, you take one imaginary section plane, to the right of it, okay, to the right of it, what is the force you see, if it is 204.85, if it is upward force, you take it as positive, if it is downward, you take negative, we will have a similar, you can make the other way around also. Upward negative, downward positive and all that. But if I take upward positive, okay, the uh, ANSYS result will match exactly with what you got by theoretical ones. 
Okay. In that way, to find shear force diagram calculations, I'll go like this. Shear force between D and D. To the right of it, you have only 2148.5. It is positive. That is what 2148.5 newtons positive. I would write it. Shear force between C and D. Here, one upward, one downward is there. 204.85 minus 150. You can you understand? 204.85 minus 150. That is 54.85 newtons. I have. Okay. In this between B and C, 1204.85 positive minus 150 minus 141.4. That will be minus 86.55 newtons. That is between B and C minus R. This and this are positive. This is negative. Then shear force between A and B, this minus this minus this minus this. That means minus this uh, 204.85 minus 150 minus 141.4 minus 86.6 also in that way minus 173.15 newtons you get okay now if you do this okay see here if you do this you just see 204.85 positive 204.85 positive okay Next, 54.85 Newtons positive. 54.85 Newtons positive between C and D. Then you get negative. You just see. Then minus 86.55 between B and C. That negative. That I given here. Minus 86.55 Newtons negative. I have shown here. Then finally, between A and B, it is minus 173.15 Newtons minus that also I have shown. Minus 173.15 Newtons. That is also. This is the perfect way of doing shear force diagram. And this shear force diagram, you have to make it in the exam and all that. Because first you have to do it by theoretical method. You do it neatly and show in the way I have done. And finally, you prove it using ANSYS mechanical APDL. You verify that thing. Then you just see here, once you do this, then we'll go for bending moment diagram calculations. It is simple. Okay, comparatively, it is very simple. You see here. It is 86.6140 all uh, split components, horizontal and vertical components and all that. Whatever I've already told, I've just written the same thing. Rea, also the reaction what I got, 173.15. Re is 204.85. Okay, bending moment diagram, how to get this? See here, bending moment at E, anyway at the support, it is zero. Bending moment at D, 204.85 into this distance, one, one meter. Okay, 204.85. Newton meter, okay, Newton meter, and at C, it is 204.85 into 2 minus 150 into 1 because anti clockwise moment I will take it positive, clockwise moment I will take it negative. In that way, 204.85 into 2 at C, okay, into 2 minus 150 into 1, that is 259.64 Newton meter. Then bending moment at B. At B, it is 204.85 into 3 minus 150 into 2 minus 141.4 into 1. That is what I have given. That is 173.15. That means, and anyway, at this RS, uh, the support is 0 only. Now, you see, 0, E is 0, 0. And at this, I got 204.85, 204.85. To some scale, you do 204.85. Then at C, it is... 259, 259.64 Newton meter, that is 259.64, you draw. Then at B, it is 173.15, that also you draw. This is, this goes this way, increases, again decreases and comes to zero. Okay, now as you know here, where this is, the maximum bending moment in this diagram is, maximum bending moment in this diagram is 259.64. As you know, the significance of bending moment you should know because wherever is the maximum bending moment it is m into you know bending stress finally m into y by i where m is bending moment if you substitute this uh, maximum bending moment you get maximum bending stress okay m into y by i if you substitute here at this point you will have maximum stress developed if the stress developed at this point is more than the yield point of the material, 
it is uh, the, uh, the, uh, the idea is it will break. That means the structure is going to fail. Okay. That is why the why we do the bending moment diagram is to find out the maximum bending moment. And at this point where you have maximum bending moment, it is likely to fail at that. But uh, likely to fail means you substitute in the bending stress, uh, bending uh, stress uh, equation and see the bending stress is m into y by i. This you substitute in place of m. Y is that uh, from the neutral fiber uh, that I'll tell you y by 2. That is a depth by 2 divided by i, moment of inertia. Uh, BD cube by 12 and all that you do. That is more the bending moment, more will be the bending stress that you should understand. Okay, more the bending moment, more will be the bending stress. Comparatively, when compared to this and this, the bending stress will be my maximum here. You just see what exactly the stress developed. In case for steel, let us say if it goes beyond 300 MPa, definitely it is going to fail for the present loading conditions and all that. Anyway, these things can be verified. Okay, these are all the theoretical things what I have told you to remember. Okay, now you see here, we will go and do by theoretical methods. Okay. Okay, theoretical, uh, sorry, uh, we'll, now we'll do by, uh, theoretical method is just finished. We'll do by ANSYS methods now. Now, I have created a new log file, Gurudat Beam Inclined Loads. Okay, and also beam analysis, beam subjected to different inclined loads are given. Okay, this also, you see here, in, if, in case if I list log file, it's a first log file. Okay, okay, only thing is, I have uh, named a uh, separate uh, log file in the name of Gurudar beam inclined loads and I have named beam analysis beam subjected to different inclined loads that's the thing that's the only thing recorded and as you know was and when you do here the complete thing will be recorded in this list log file okay here it will be recorded you can copy the entire thing okay and paste it in the ANSYS command prompt execute you are getting the same answer you can save this as also a log file and you can operate the important thing as I told you earlier in earlier sessions you can change different loads. You can change the geometry and do the analysis instantly. That is the advantage. Okay. Now, you see here. You see now, as usual, you start. Preferences, structural. Okay. Preprocessor, element type, add, edit, delete, add, link, sorry, beam, 2 node 188, you take. Okay, say, just say close. Okay. And real constant, it does not ask for real constant. You ask for material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, and C is here, 210 E9, okay, or 2.111. That is, I am doing everything in Newton per meter square. The modeling should be compulsorily in meter now, okay. Then 0 0.27, okay, is the thing. Okay, that is, I have fit the material. Okay, I have fit the material. Then modeling, you see here, create key points in active coordinate system, you say, take one, zero, 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 you take, apply, you do. Then you, you take two, one, zero, zero, you do. You take two, do the supply, okay, two zero zero. Then you take four, three zero zero. Then you take five, four zero zero. You take, okay. I got, I created four key points, okay. Then I'll. Uh, I'll join by lines and all that. I'll show you. Okay. This, that means up to creation of key points, I've done it in session one. In session two, I'll complete this problem in all respect. Okay. And I'll verify whatever you got by theoretical method matching with this ANSYS methods. Okay. Thank you, friends. Thanks for watching. Please look to my session two for in for continuation of this problem thank you